spooky Reddit pasta. Something chased me up the stairs tonight. By username Chris Kringley Cream. I stay up late to do homework on most days. I guess one can consider me a night owl. But really, I don't think I'm exactly like that. Working in the day just feels different from working the late hours of a night. It lacks the pressure, you know? Seeing the digital clock on the corner of the screen slowly count down to morning is enough incentive for any student to finish their task. Tonight was just like any other sleepless night. I'm sat at my desk, riding the final waves of a caffeine high surrounded by a few crumpled packs of granola bars. I've got a project due in a few hours, a conceptual poster for some conceptual film prompt, and I was debating for which colour scheme to use for this small section of the piece when I feel a small twist in my abdomen. Then came the proverbial stomach growling. I look out the window facing my desk. No sunlight yet, just the orange hues of the street lamps outside. My PC's clock flashes a bright 3.36am at me. I guess the granola bars I ate an hour ago weren't enough, huh? So I get up, stretch my arms, legs and my back. God, do I hate myself for staying up late. But it's not as if I'll ever stop. I get out my room with my phone in my pocket and walk down the stairs, making sure not to make too much noise. You see, my parents are in the room next to mine, which is also happens to be right by the stairs. Both of them are very light sleepers, so I didn't want another run about how I'm ruining my own health by staying up late. When I reach the landing downstairs, I quickly reach for the switches beside me and turn on the lights. It feels relieving to see the furniture around the living room illuminated once more and not shrouded in complete darkness. I don't like to think of myself as a wimp, but I just don't like the dark, and I'm not afraid to admit that either. I head on over to the kitchen, straight to the fridge, and take out the box of cereal along with some milk. It's all routine, you see, it's all routine. It's silent tonight. The only sounds are the ticking of the wall clock and the light bulb's low, almost indiscernible buzzing. Dad's awfully quiet, I mumble as the milk pours down the bowl. You see, my dad's got sleep. Ah, shit. You see, I don't know the word nor the technicalities, but usually I hear him snoring from this point in the house. After all, it's not exactly a big house. Sometimes, though, he's quiet. Like today, it seems. Some days I like it quiet, other days I don't, because hearing him snoring from all the way down there does bring me comfort. Reminds me that even in this quiet, I'm not alone in this house. Tick, tick, tick. The clock keeps ticking. I look up at it. It reads 3.38 a.m. Huh, <laughs> that's funny. Has it only been two minutes? I guess it's broken? The minute hand seems to be moving erratically. I guess I have to tell my dad in, about it in the morning. I've never been a fan of analogue clocks either. They're always so fucking noisy, anxiety inducing even, especially at night, and they break easily. Case in point. When I finish my small snack, I quickly shove the bowl under the cold tap, rinse it off quickly and place it on the drying rack. On normal days, I like to take my time, scrub the thing twice, lounge around in the nearby sofa, scroll through my phone, anything to stall from getting back to work. But there are days where I feel strangely anxious. The clock keeps ticking and the light bulb continues to buzz. I can't hear anything else. 
I quickly collect my phone from the table, put my cereal and milk back in the fridge, but as I reach the ground floor landing, I pause, hand hovering over the switch. I can hear my heart pounding in my chest. You know those days when you feel like something's watching you, that something's there, unseen, unreachable even, but it's there, that whatever's out there just waiting for you to turn off the lights so they can do whatever they want with you. Today's one of those days. Maybe it's all in my head, maybe it's not, but I suck in a breath and force myself to look back, to see, to confirm that there it is, in fact, nothing there. Everything's the same, all in place. There is nothing but me and the living room, the buzzing light bulb, and the ticking clock. I breathe out slowly, relieved. I click the light shut and I walk up the stairs. The agenda on the phone at this moment was to watch the 2004 Tony performance of Defying Gravity for the umpteenth time. My nerves are still there, but show tunes do have a comforting quality to them. It's just one of these nights. You know, when you get the strongest and most random urge just to bolt up the stairs? Maybe a little dose of Wicked can bring some ounce of comfort. The song starts out slow, of course, the notes come and India sings, something has changed within me. I reach the thirteenth step. The music picks up suddenly. Thud. 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 I hear quick footsteps closely behind me. My mind blanks then, all I knew that, oh god, it's not just one of those nights, and I needed to fucking run. I bolted up the two remaining steps, heart pounding in my chest, I run to my room and slam the door shut. It wasn't even a minute, but I felt the cold sweat rolling down my temple, my chest. My chest feels heavier, it's harder to breathe with the constant hammering in my ribcage. I keep my attention focused on the door for how long? I don't know. All I know is that I cannot let go of that fucking doorknob. No matter how hard my hand shook, I never took my hand off the door, never moved away from it. It's quiet outside. Dad's not snoring from the next room. There are no cars passing by. The phone is turned off, sitting by my foot on the floor. I hear nothing. Except that ticking clock ticking. Clock? I turn around. A wide, inhuman smile stares at me, from a face too misshapen, from a body that is too long. Staring at me from behind a window, a long nail drags across the glass. The smile widens. Large, uneven teeth gnash against one another. Tick, tick, tick. I hear the sound of glass cracking. <laughs>